Now it is for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? And welcome to a city that's had plenty to shout about on the football front in recent years. We're in Lyon here in East Central France. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And coming up, live action from Ligue 1, technically speaking, one of the finest leagues in the world. It is Olympic Lyonnais against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, thanks, Derek. It wasn't a great start for PSG, was it? They just look short in one or two areas, but they're a decent side and should bounce back today with a much better performance. And a chance to whip it in here. And defending as a unit. And here's the starting 11 for Lyon. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And pressing from the front. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, you don't really want to be picking up a caution so early in the game, Stuart. Well, he's going to be under pressure now. That was a reckless challenge. He didn't need to make it at all. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Cook Chu. It needs an accurate cross. Dembele. Well, only just wide of the post. Well, Paris Saint-Germain had to be content with a draw in their last game against Lille. How might this play out, Stuart? Well, that one-all draw at home wasn't really the result they wanted. Today, I think we'll see a much better display from them going forward, and they'll probably just have enough to win it. Still passing it around with authority. Well, no problems defensively. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Tolisso. Gazal. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Dembele. Well, they might be piling on the pressure but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Kukchu, and the ball back with Lyon here. Simons. Mbappe pulls it back. And slipped through beautifully. And can they prize them open now? They're trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Plenty of options. Cook two. Here's Mbappe. Yuhash. Chance to cross. He succeeds in clearing it. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here.
So back underway here into the second half. Trolley so. And PSG come away with it. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents a really good deal for them. He's talented, yes, but he's also a really top-class professional. And that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. Well, spot on by that challenge. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Guardiol, Dembele on the ball, Kukchu, Adrian Truffert, Mbappe, happy to take on the shot, oh good work by the keeper, and time for the change now, and the corner played over by Dembele, and first class defending, cleared off the line. And well, they've given him too much space. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, the games keep on coming right here on EA TV. We have more live action from Liga Uber Eats. It's Olympic Lyonnais, and they'll be taking on Estac Trois. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. And continues his run. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Lyon doing well to regain possession. Paul Akuoku. Kukchu. Are they going to forge ahead? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? And a penalty awarded, spot kick coming up. This to make it 1-0. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Paul Akuoku. Sinali Diamonde. Saar. Doing well to keep possession. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. A really good pass. And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment.
Yeah, that's an important win, Derek. They weren't at their best in the opening match, but today they were much, much better.
special atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden days leading up to this fixture. But now the talking has to stop and the football must take over. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard question to answer. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. This is the scene here in the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac des Princes on a glorious day for football. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from Ligue 1. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Monaco. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Moving forward effectively. Has someone to play it to. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. And the PSG team looks like this. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And players waiting in the centre to take the lead. Must be a goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, they have it again. Attacking possibilities for PSG. It needs an accurate cross. Cook Chu. Well, a really good run. Opportunity. Can they cover up? And cleared away. Ugarte. Dembele. Good use of the ball as they look to extend their lead. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Danger still on. Yuhash. Might be onto something with that ball. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, that's a really good pass. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, he's going to be cross with himself, straight into that human barrier. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. And he's fired over the corner. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Kylian Mbappe. So getting close to the half-time interval and PSG with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what you've seen from them in this half? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Well, they want that equaliser, but their passing remains smooth. Well, 
Well, full marks to him for giving it a try from that tight angle. Well, he took everybody by surprise there. That was a really decent attempt. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Gvardiol. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Van der Beek. He's blocked it. Simons. Mbappe with it. Adrien Truffert. Will he play it in? That was going in! On a corner for Paris Saint-Germain. What can they do with it? And with play stop, they will make the change now. So the corner played into the box. Did well to clear it away. Well, sitting deep here, almost inviting the pressure. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Now the counter-attack looks on. And a big breaking transfer story, and very happy to be able to share the news. Jonathan Tarr has completed his move to Leicester City, Stuart. Yeah, at that price, I think he's valued for money. He'll certainly improve their squad, and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Oh, potential danger. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And now to level the game. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, no way through in the end. No foul. PSG advantage. Simons. No failure to keep the ball by PSG. Plenty of support here. Well, no way through. Well, we pride ourselves on being the home of football and we have more live action from Liga Uber Eats coming up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain and they'll be taking on Estat 3. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Chance to set up an equaliser from the corner. And the keeper left us in no doubt that that was always going to be his ball. Kukchu. Oh, he's given the ball away. Dunk. Alexis McAllister. Molina. Wesley Fofana. Juhasz. Well, just a reminder, we have more live football from Liga coming your way right here on EA TV. It's Monaco facing Nice. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, they're nearly there, PSG. They're almost over the line. They want a victory. Stuart, are they going to get it? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point. And I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Juhasz. 
It could be for Mbappe. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely imperfect. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so cleanly. It's a fantastic strike. So underway again. And a 2-0 advantage here. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display?